All right, so we all know of bytes, kilobytes, megabytes, gigabytes, and terabytes. But have you ever heard of petabyte, exabyte, zettabyte, or even yottabyte? So uh, yeah, let's start off with the smallest and simplest. So a petabyte is one quadrillion bytes, or alternatively, 1,000 terabytes. The average price of a 5 terabyte hard disk drive is around 110 pounds, which will be our reference for this video. So you will need 200 5 terabyte hard drives in an array to create one petabyte. So the cost would be around 22,000 pounds. So now let's talk about exabytes. So an exabyte is 1 million terabytes or 1,000 petabytes or 1 quintillion bytes. Yeah, I know, crazy. To put this into perspective, the whole of Australia, the whole of Australia, downloaded approximately 0 0.963 exabytes of data from June 2014 to December of 2014. In 2007, scientists calculated the total amount of data stored in the entire world is approximately 295 exabytes, with a nearly a third of that belonging to the United States. I would put an estimated price of around 22 million, about a thousand times more from my previous estimation. You would need about 200,000 5 terabyte hard disk drives in an array to achieve one exabyte. Now we are on to zettabytes. This is a milestone that no one has yet achieved, and it would take over 1,000 data centers, which would take up about 20% of Manhattan, New York. The cost would be absolutely immense, with a price of 22 billion. Okay, now we're moving into the crazy stuff. I mean, we previously did with the uh, zettabytes, but now we are on yottabytes. This is a thousand zettabytes, or one septillion bytes. This would fill up over a million data centers, which will then fill up the whole of Rhode Island and Delaware. The cost would be absolutely astronomical at about 22 trillion. To put that into perspective, the world's GDP is approximately 73 trillion dollars. Alright, so now we're treading in pretty far ground, but of course it doesn't just end at Yottabyte. There are two more that I know of called Brontobyte and Geobyte, but the problem is these ones are so big, these are not official names for these two sets of data yet. Because they are so big and will probably, not in our lifetime, be existent. So now onto the main point of this video. In the past, it has been pretty evident that technology advances at an astronomical rate, such as the first ever hard drive which was released in 1956 which stored approximately 5 megabytes and weighed over a ton. To clarify that is probably about enough to store uh, about 3 high definition images. And then 24 years later there was a uh, hard drive released which was about 200 times the capacity and was about the size of a fridge. And then we have a 750 gigabyte hard drive released by Seagate in 2006, which was about the average sized hard drive and was available for home use. And now there is an 8 terabyte hard drive out now, which is about the average sized hard drive. So it is highly likely that in the near future we will start seeing petabyte hard drives popping up in the market, and you never know, maybe in our lifetime we may start to see Yottabyte hard drives, although we may be very old and wrinkly by then. But at this point, the question still remains, will we ever need that much storage in a single computer? Well, you never know, maybe one day files get to the point where uh, a, a Yottabyte hard drive is absolutely mandatory uh, for everyday life. 